the system that we tore out had about this much concrete and then the drainage was right below it and that was all within the depth of the floor. So the water had to rise up around the floor in order to get into the drainage. What we have now is we have our drainage, which is pipe and stone. It's a corrugated, perforated ADS pipe. And if you pitch that pipe, it actually cleans itself. It creates a, a churning effect as the water flows through it. So it's perpetually self-cleaning and you don't need maintenance. The system that we removed, because it had no pitch, it's placed within the depth of the footing. There was no real flow. They would clog and had to have like a maintenance contract where the company would come out, charge a couple hundred bucks, uh, at least once a year, they try to do it twice a year to have those systems flushed out. Our system is perpetually self-cleaning, but the big difference is where our drainage is. Instead of being within the depth of the floor, our drainage is 12 to 14 inches below the bottom of the floor and in a trench that's this wide, this deep, with a combination of our pipe and our stone. And the stone itself is a great drainage tool also, so water will flow through that. So any water that's going to accumulate around the foundation or underneath the floor is all going to be managed 12 to 14 inches below the bottom of the floor as opposed to that whole area being completely filled up with water and actually filled up around the sides as you could see as we tore that other system out. So the way this system is set up is we have our pipe and stone and then you can see our gray uh, flow channel which is a, a, like a waffle board which allows any water coming in underneath the wall to go straight through the channel and then down that 12 to 14 inches below the bottom of the floor. And you can see when we did and saw it, there was vapor barrier, and uh, which was that plastic sheeting that we put. So you can't even get moisture up there. And also the concrete that we use is our proprietary supercrete mix where we've turned that this concrete non-porous. So you just can't get it any drier than what it is right now. A huge difference to the system that we just tore out, which was completely ineffective. and totally, totally the wrong system for this particular type of foundation. The uh, moral of the story, I guess you'd say, is make sure you get the right company to do the right thing for your particular type of foundation. Give us a call, American Dry Basement Systems. Hey, if you like the video, hit our like button, subscribe so you can get our other uh, videos as we come out, and we've been putting them out like crazy, and all different kinds of types of great information. If you do have a wet basement, check us out, check our other videos out. I think you'll find a lot of great info.